We will now set up our seat ring holding block measurement system using seat ring holding block and a master block. We will use the seat ring inspection process as our guide. First part, seat ring holding block setup, step one. Verify that the seat ring holding block and master block are free of debris. Make a visual inspection that there's no dirt or machining dust. We will now assemble the two pieces together. and align the timing marks. Verifying that the table is clean and ready for use, we will slide the seat ring holding block under our dial indicator while referencing both timing marks on the master and the holding block as home position. We'll make any adjustments to our dial indicator as necessary to achieve a perfect zero state. This initial setup at zero sets our part height of our seat ring. We will now check to ensure that our gauge is accurate by sliding to the back sliding to the side then making a full circle while looking and monitoring maximum variation our gauge tolerance for our master block and holding block is within one half thousandths. Ours measured within that specification. Our seat ring block and dial indicator are now ready for use to measure our seat rings. We will pull this seat ring master off and save it for use as this process only has to be done one time or part number set up.